Hi guys, it's Murray here. Um, I'm just going to show you today a winch system I built for loading my motorcycle into a trailer. The motorcycle isn't that heavy, but the, I've tried pushing it and I kind of run out of gas sometimes before I get into the trailer. And when I try to drive it on, I've had three times where everything just went wrong. So I was looking for an option where I could use a winch to pull the trailer on. A lot of quads use, have a built-in winch in the front of the quad and they use the winch to pull their, their quad onto the trailer. There's no way you can mount a winch onto a motorcycle. There's no, there's no place to do it. If you put it on the front forks, you wouldn't be able to turn the handlebars and it would be cantilevered and bouncing all over. So my plan was to mount a quad winch into my trailer and use the battery in the motorcycle and have the controllers for the, for the winch in the motorcycle. So now obviously the problem is that the controller is over here, the motorcycle is over here, the battery is over here, but the winch is over there. So my, what I did to modify the winch is they added 25 feet of DC wire. I used 12 gauge, probably 10 gauge would be better, but I did the calculations and neither one of them is really a problem. The wire doesn't heat up and the impact on the efficiency of the winch is negligible. It uses about 6% of the total power in the wire. So first thing is attachment points to the motorcycle. You could attach a strap to the forks, but that would interfere with the steering. You could attach it to the back handlebars, but that would be quite a ways back. So lucky for me, my motorcycle had a crash bar, and that seemed to be the most logical place to attach it. Then what I did is I measured the distance from the center line of my motorcycle to the crash bar, because I want that to be the same as the distance from the center line of the trailer to where the winch comes in. That way I'm pulling in a straight line and I'm not pulling the motorcycle over and I'm not, um, uh, as I get closer, I'm not twisting it into position. It's gonna go in a straight line all the way in. It'll keep the cable straight. So that was why I did that. Next step is to connect the battery. The battery's under the seat, obviously. You just have to set your seat aside. You want to make sure that the wires are on the outside of the trailer. I wrap mine around the front and that they're not going to get tangled as you go up. You put a 50 amp fuse in it. And one of the things about the fuse is the posts were exposed. So that would be bad. Um, so I wrapped that with, with electrical tape to make sure that wouldn't happen. This thing here is called a solenoid controller. I just uh, put a zip tie around everything so it stayed neat. The controller itself is this thing. I've just got a button for in or out. And then the last thing you do after you've hooked up the motor, hooked up everything, is the connections to the battery. So you start with, this, this battery is a nine amp hour. And I calculated that I could do it 20 times and still have half my power. If you do it backwards, uh, it'll go out instead of in, because it's a DC motor. But anyway, so start with the red, red wire to red, and then black. In terms of body position, what I like to do is put the controller between my luggage straps so it doesn't fall. And then pile this up here. And what I do is I wrap my wrap this under the uh, the hand strap, turn it so in is at the top. I leave the bike in gear and flip up the kickstand. Okay, so like I said, uh, I've got the controller in my right hand while I'm hanging onto the grab rail. I leave the bike in first, I pull in the clutch, and then I start the winch. I use a stool alongside the trailer there to reduce the amount of step, 
and then you push the controller to start the winch. You can stop at any time if you want to reposition. You get to the end, flip down the kickstand, and now you can do your tie downs. So this is the, the package I got. Uh, Canadian Tire, this was $100, not even on sale. I don't know how they make it for that. But anyway, it's, uh, it's rated for 2,000 pounds. So the amount of current it draws goes up with the load. Uh, my whole motorcycle only weighs less than 400. So um, I'm only using it most a quarter of that. And um, like I said, with that load, the amperage is very low and the battery would last a long time. The only thing I left I want to show you is what I did to the trailer to make the mounting point strong enough that I wouldn't be pulling up the floor. So we're looking at the underside of my trailer now and what I did for the to make the, the bed of the trailer stronger is I used two pieces of uh, I think one and a half by one and a half inch quarter inch thick angle iron and I bolted right through from the bolts on the winch through the trailer bed down to that. The, the trailer is got a welded bed and even you know for my tie-in points I've never had any any issue with bending or deflection of the bed so I'm not first of all I'm not a professional and this is not being paid for so you have to make your own decision about whether this is safe for you do your own calculations and uh, take your own responsibility for doing this but